test for the convergence of the series sin of 1 by n squared. Let u n be sin of 1 by n squared and v n is equal to 1 by n squared. We know that how to choose v n? To choose v n we follow the shortcut namely highest power of n in numerator divided by highest power of n in the denominator. In the numerator since sin of 1 by n squared is here trigonometric ratio we should not consider the trigonometry sin cos tan secant that we have to leave it we have to consider only the angle therefore in the numerator we have one therefore one in the denominator we have n squared therefore n squared and hence vn is one by n squared we have to find the limit of it so what is un by vn un by vn is equal to u n is sin of 1 by n squared, v n is 1 by n squared, Find, finding limit on both sides, so limit of, now let us find the limit, limit of u n by v n as n tends to infinity is equals to limit as n tends to infinity, sin of 1 by n squared divided by 1 by n squared, we know that that is equals to 1. Nothing but L. L is the limit. The limit of the value is 1. 1 is finite and non-zero. Therefore, by limit comparison test, the series Un and the series Vn behave alike. But what about series Vn? Series Vn is series 1 by n squared. What is series 1 by n squared? Series 1 by n squared is nothing but the axillary series 1 by n power p. What is p here? Here p is equals to 2. p equals to 2. Therefore, the series vn is equal to series 1 by n squared which is convergent by p series where p is equals to 2 and 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, by limit comparison test, series un is convergent. Discuss the convergence of the series 1 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 plus 3 divided by 2 into 3 into 4 plus 5 divided by 3 into 4 into 5 plus so on. In this problem, the nth term of the series is not given. So now we have to find the nth term of the series. Let the given series be series un. What is un? Un is the nth term of the given series. Now our aim is to find un. To find un, consider the numbers in the numerator that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on. That is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on. This is an arithmetic progression. To find the nth term of the arithmetic progression, we have to use the formula Tn, Tn means the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, where a is the first term, d is the common difference. What is a here? a is the first term, that is a equals to 1. What is d? D is the common difference. How do you find the common difference? The general formula is Tn minus Tn minus 1. That is nth term minus n minus 1 -th term. Now what is A here? A is the first term. The first term in the arithmetic progression is 1. Therefore A is 1. What is D? D is Tn minus Tn minus 1. That is general formula. 
but when it comes to problem it is very easy to find d that is second term minus first term or third term minus second term that is difference of any two successive terms you have to find now the common difference d equals to t2 minus t1 second term minus first term what is second term 3 what is the first term 1 and hence 3 minus 1 equal to 2 and d is the common difference why it is called common difference because we find the difference of any two successive term all the values are same all the values are common therefore it is called common difference so here a equals to 1 and d equals to 2 now substitute the values of a and d in the formula tn therefore tn becomes e that is equals to a a is 1 plus n minus 1 into d d is 2 therefore tn is equals to 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 that is equals to 1 plus multiply the factor n minus 1 by 2 we get 2n minus 2 therefore it is 2n minus 2 plus 1 hence it is 2n minus 1 and we know that if the terms are odd numbers the numbers are odd numbers the nth term will be either 2n minus 1 Or 2n plus 1. Since here we start from n equals to 1, it is 2n minus 1. What about the denominator? Look at the first factor in every term of the denominator. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on. So what's the nth term of one plus two plus three? So one. It is the n. It is the n. Now consider the second factors in every term. Two plus three plus four plus so on. I have taken here two plus three plus four so on. Again, it is an arithmetic progression with a equals to two. And the common difference is three minus two is one. Therefore, the general formula is a plus n minus one into d, where a is two plus n minus one. D is one, and hence it is two plus n minus one that is equals to n plus one. Therefore, if you consider the first factors, the general term is n. we consider the second factor in every term it is n plus 1 what about the third factor 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus so on so 3 plus 4 plus 5 so on will be n plus 2 therefore the nth term of the given series is 2n minus 1 by n Into n plus one into n plus two, so u n is equals to two n minus one by n into n plus one into n plus two. Now, what is our aim? We have to find the limit of u n by v n. Before finding v n, let us reduce the factors. Let us try to eliminate n and the power of n in the numerator as well as in the denominator of u n. So here in the numerator, one n is common. Take this n out. Then what happens? We get n into two minus one by n. Here there is n here. No problem at all. Take this one n. From n plus one, when you take n out from n plus one, we get n into one plus one by n. When you come to the third factor, again n is common. Take n out. If we take n out, we will get n into one plus two by n. Thus, we have one n here, 
one n here these two n get cancel and hence we have 2 minus 1 by n in the numerator in the denominator we have n into n what is n into n n square into the rest of the factors that is 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n thus yeah, un is 2 minus 1 by n in divided by n squared into 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n. How to find Vn? We know that to find Vn we have a shortcut. What is the shortcut? Highest power of n in the numerator of un divided by highest power of n in the denominator. Look at this in the un. What is the highest power in the numerator? Nothing is there. So 1, 1. In the denominator, what is the highest power of n? 2, 2. Therefore, Vn will be 1 by n squared. 1 by n squared. That is a 1. So, let Vn equals to 1 by n squared. Now, before we find the limit of un by vn, we try to simplify the ratio un by vn. What is un by vn? That is equals to, this is un. 2 minus 1 by n by n squared into 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 plus 2 by n. What is vn? vn is 1 by n squared. 1 by n squared. Here Vn is in the denominator. Therefore, we have to write the reciprocal of Vn. What is the reciprocal of Vn? N squared by 1. So, we have written N squared. So that this N squared, this N squared get cancelled. And hence, we will be having Un by Vn is equals to 2 minus 1 by N divided by 1 plus 1 by N into 1 plus 2 by n. Now it is very easy to find the limit because when you take limit of a by n as n tends to infinity becomes a by infinity becomes 0 becomes 0. Therefore Therefore, now we are going to apply limit of the ratio un by vn. What is the limit of un by vn? Limit of 2 minus 1 by n divided by 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n. When you apply limit, what happened? This 1 by n tends to 0. This 1 by n tends to 0. This 2 by n also tends to 0. Therefore, we get 2 minus 0 by 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0. It is 2 divided by 1 into 1. 2 by 1. What is 2 by 1? 2. What is 2? What is 2? Is it finite or infinite? It is finite. What is 2? Is it 0 or non-zero? It is non-zero. Therefore, this 2, the limit of un by vn is 2, which is finite and non-zero. Hence, by the limit comparison test, series un and the series vn both behave alike. But, but, what is the nature of vn? What is the convergence of vn? We know that series vn is 1 by n squared. This is of the form series 1 by n power p that is axillary series or p test or p series what is p what is p p equals to 2 p equal to 2 but 2 is greater than 1 then by p series or p test or by axillary series this series 1 by n squared converges since series Vn is convergent by limit comparison test, what does it say? It says that Un and Vn behave alike. The series Vn converges. Therefore, 
series V and is also converges. Therefore, by limit comparison test, the series U and E is convergent. Test for the convergence of the series whose nth term is square root of n plus 1 minus n. How to solve such problems? For such problems, we have to use rationalization. We have to use rationalization. Now, we are going to rationalize square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n. What is the rationalizing factor of square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n? Simply we have to change the sign. What sign we have? Minus. Therefore, its rationalizing factor will be square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. Here we have minus. Therefore, we must have plus. And hence, we are going to multiply and divide this square root of n plus 1 minus root n by its rationalizing factor, namely square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. Therefore, square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n is equal to square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n into square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n whole divided by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. If you look at the numerator, this is of the form a minus b into a plus b. It is of the form a minus b into a plus b. We know that a minus b into a plus b is a squared minus b squared here. a is square root of n plus 1, b is square root of n and hence this will be square root of n plus 1 whole squared minus square root of n squared divided by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. We know that square root of a whole square is a. That is the square root and the square get cancelled. And hence this becomes the next step will be n plus 1 minus n divided by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. Here also minus n plus n get cancelled and hence we will be having 1 by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. This is the nth term of the given series. Next our aim is to find Vn. How to choose Vn? How to choose Vn? We have the formula. What's the formula? Highest power of n in the numerator of Un divided by highest power of n in the denominator of Un. What is the highest power of n in the numerator? Is there any n? There is no n. So we have to write whatever is here. We have the number 1. Therefore write 1 divided by what is the highest power of n in the denominator? The highest power of n is square root of 1 by 2. That is square root of n, the radical symbol. The radical symbol square root. Square root is 1 by 2. Therefore, in the denominator we have to write square root of n. Thus, vn is 1 by square root of n. Now what you will do? We have to find the ratio of u n by v n. What is the ratio of u n by v n? That is equal to what is u n? 1 by square root 1 divided by square root of n plus 1 plus root n. What is v n? 1 by root n. Since v n is in the denominator, we have to write its reciprocal. What is the reciprocal? Root n by 1. Therefore, that is equal to root n by square root of n into square root of 1 plus 1 by n plus 
one. This root n and there is one more root n in the denominator both get cancelled. That is equals to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 by n plus 1. Do you have any powers of n here? No. No. But we have 1 by n. Whenever there is 1 by n, it is very easy to find the limit of 1 by n as n tends to infinity. Therefore, finding limit of un by vn as n tends to infinity, it is much easier. Now, that is equal to limit of 1 by 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 as n tends to infinity. We know that as n tends to infinity, 1 by n tends to 0. 1 by n tends to 0. Therefore, 1 by square root of 1 by infinity is 0 plus 1. That is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 is 1. Therefore, square root of 1 is 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. That is equal to 1 by 2. That is limit of u n by v n as n tends to infinity is 1 by 2 which is finite and not 0. That is the two conditions of limit comparison test satisfied. Therefore, by limit comparison test, the series u and v n became alike. But what is v n? We know the series v n is 1 by square root of n that is equal to series 1 by n to the power 1 by 2. What is the series? Is it convergent or divergent? This series of the form series 1 by n power p. What is p? What is p? p is 1 by 2. p is 1 by 2. Which is less than 1? Which is less than 1? Therefore, pi by p series. What is p series says or p test says? It says the series is convergent if P is greater than 1 and divergent if P is less than or equal to 1. Here P is 1 by 2 less than 1. Therefore, the series Vn diverges. The series Vn is divergent. And hence by limit comparison test, since series u and v n both behave alike, we know that the series v n diverges. Therefore, the series u n is also divergent. Now, test for the convergence of the series. Series square root of n squared plus 1 minus n. See, whenever we have the radical symbol square root or cubic root or nth root, we have to apply rationalization. That is, we have to multiply, divide by the rationalizing factor of the nth term. Let us consider the series B, un. Therefore, what is un here? un equal to square root of n squared plus 1 minus n. We have a radical symbol here. This is a radical symbol. Therefore, we have to multiply and divide n squared, square root of n squared plus 1 minus n by its rationalizing factor. Since we have minus here, we have minus here, its rationalizing factor will have plus sign. Suppose you have plus here, then its rationalizing factor will have minus. Since we have minus here, we have plus, we have plus. Therefore, the rationalizing factor of square root of n squared plus 1 minus n is square root of n squared plus 1 plus, plus n. Now, let us multiply the nth term of the given series by its rationalizing factor. That is square root of n squared plus 1 plus n divided by square root of n squared plus 1 plus n. That is equal to square root of n squared plus 1 minus n into square root of n squared plus 1 plus n divided by square root of n squared plus 1 plus n. Look at the numerator. 
This is of the form a minus b into a plus b, where a is square root of n squared plus 1, b is n. We know that a minus b into a plus b is a squared minus b squared. Therefore, the next term, next step is square root of n plus 1 whole squared minus n squared divided by square root of n squared plus 1 plus n. Also, the square root and the square get cancelled. Therefore, we get n squared plus 1 minus n squared by square root of n squared plus 1 plus n. Again, this n squared minus n squared get cancelled. Therefore, that is equal to 1 divided by square root of n squared plus 1 plus n. How to choose vn? How to choose vn? vn is highest power of n in the numerator divided by highest power of n in the denominator of un. What is the highest power of n in the numerator of un? It is 1. Therefore, write 1 here. What is the highest power of n in the denominator? It is n. It is n. Here also n only because it's square root of n squared is n. Therefore, the highest power of n in the denominator is n. And hence, Vn is equals to 1 by n. So, let Vn be equal to 1 by n. Let us find the ratio. Un by Vn. That is equal to 1 divided by square root of n squared plus 1 plus n. That is Un. What is Vn? 1 by n. Since Vn is in the denominator, we have to write its reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 1 by n? n by 1. Therefore, that is equal to n divided by here. We are going to take n out. If we take n out, here we have to take n square from square root. When you take n squared from square root, it will be n. It will be n. Therefore, n into square root of 1, 1 plus 1 by n squared. 1 by n squared. Plus, we are taking n out. Therefore, in the place of n, we will have 1. We have 1. Here, n in the numerator. n in the denominator get cancelled that is equals to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 by n squared plus 1 that is un by vn now we have to apply limit on both sides when you apply limit on both sides limit of un by vn is equal to limit of 1 divided by square root of 1 plus n squared plus 1 as n tends to infinity now we are going to apply limit. When you apply limit, wherever we have n, we have to replace n by infinity. Therefore, here, what happened? Here, 1 by n squared becomes 1 by infinity squared. What is 1 by infinity squared? 1 by infinity. What is 1 by infinity? 0, 0. Therefore, when you apply limit, we get 1 divided by square root of 0 plus 1. And the square root of 1 plus 0 is square root of 1. Square root of 1 is 1. Therefore, that is equal to 1 plus 1 equal to 1 by 2. What is 1 by 2? 1 by 2 is the limit of un by vn. That is equal to 1 by 2. What is 1 by 2? Which is finite and non-zero. The two conditions of limit comparison test are satisfied. Therefore, by limit comparison test, series U and series Vn behave alike. Behave alike. Now, what about series Vn? Series Vn is 1 by n. Series Vn is 
1 by n. Therefore, the series Vn is 1 by n. But what is series Vn by n? It is of the form series 1 by n power p. That is p test. What is p? p is 1. p is 1. Therefore, the series Vn is equal to series 1 by n is a divergent series by p test because p equals to 1 here. Therefore, by comparison test, series Un and Vn behave alike, but series Vn is divergent and hence series Vn is also divergent.